Hagna is an expert in the retirement planning field. He loves to tell the following story about how retirement typically plays out for people, how retirees, because they're worried about the future, spend less money than they can or should, how they resist the urge to buy the boat or take the trip or join the country club. Then if they pass away and leave an inheritance, their children buy the boat or take the trip or join the country club. Very funny, right? Maybe not so much. To spend or not to spend. To better understand why retirees either spend on their assets or hold on to them, BlackRock engaged a firm to interview and survey over 1,500 retirees with investable assets between 200,000 and 2.5 million. Here are a few of the takeaways. On average, across all wealth levels, most current retirees still had 80% of their pre-retirement savings after almost two decades of retirement. And generally, retirees hold mixed feelings about spending down assets. Only 32% are comfortable spending down their assets. For many, it's more appealing to manage expenses in order to maintain or even build asset levels in retirement. Very few want to tap into their savings to finance their spending in retirement, especially those with high levels of assets are very content to leave all or a significant amount of savings unspent. Only one in four feels they will have to spend on principal at all to fund their desired lifestyle. For most, retirement is not a time to live it up. It's more important to feel financially secure. I could go on and on, but the data shows that people like to hoard their money, which leaves me with the following question. Is this good or bad? Even in retirement, many of us like to see our account balances grow. I wonder if this is ultimately reducing our quality of life. I mean, I'm not sure what's worse, spending too much, which leads to the potential we could run out of money, or spending too little and missing out on life's experiences. So why is this so difficult? Because it's not what we're accustomed to. Here are three reasons why it can be difficult for people to come to terms with the idea of actively drawing upon their retirement savings. Number one, psychological attachment. Many people develop a psychological attachment to their retirement savings. They view it as a sort of symbol of financial security and a reward for their years of hard work and saving. A badge of honor, if you will, a scorecard. The thought of using these funds can trigger feelings of anxiety and insecurity as it challenges the notion of having a safety net. Number two, uncertainty about the future. People often feel uncertain about their future financial needs, particularly when it comes to healthcare expenses unexpected emergencies, or an extended retirement period. They may worry that drawing from their savings now will leave them vulnerable or unprepared for potential future expenses. And this leads to a fear of running out of money now or later on. And number three, loss of control. Actively using retirement savings can feel like a loss of control over one's financial situation. Throughout their working years, individuals had a sense of control by saving and accumulating wealth. However, relying on savings for income can introduce a sense of uncertainty and dependency on market fluctuations, investment returns, and overall financial management. And all that could be unsettling for some. In summary, some level of flexibility in spending is acceptable and advisable, but it should not compromise your overall quality of life. I have five tips for you on how you can comfortably spend more in retirement, and I'll cover that in detail in my next video. I'll have suggestions to help you spend more money and be more comfortable in retirement. Thanks for watching.